Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to tell you about uh, important skills required to become an ethical hacker. People frequently ask this question, I am a beginner in hacking, how should I start, what are the steps to become a hacker. In this video I am going to answer all of these questions and more. I will give you a complete dis detail and technical instruction on how to get started as a beginner if you have no experience don't worry we all had to start somewhere no one is in the world and no one is born with all the necessary skills so without wasting time let's get started so first I'm going to a uh, quick intro about what is hacking remember I already make a video about who is hacker or what is hacking also, I am. Uh, I discovered and uh, tell types of hacker and give brief explanation. You should watch this video. Link is in the description below. Basically, hacking is like identifying weaknesses and vulnerabilities of some system and gaining access with it. There are some type types of hacker: white hat hacker, black hat hacker, and red hat. White hat hacker is an ethical hacker who uses hacking skills to protect organization from threat vectors. They actively search for vulnerabilities in a security system so that the flow can be patched before a cyber criminal can take advantage of them uh, to penetrate the system. The next is black hat hacker. Black hat hackers are criminals who break into computer network with malicious intent. They may also release malware that destroy files in computer or steal password and credit card numbers and other personal information. And gray hat hackers are a person who get unauthorized access but he reveals the weakness to the company. On the basis of he, his finding, he, they, the company will pay him like $100, $100 and they are the grey hat hackers are also known as bug bounty hunters. Now I am going to uh, tell you about uh, the skills you should learn. The first is operating system Linux. Linux is an extremely popular operating system for hackers. You can't be a good hacker without understanding Linux. It is an open source operating system. You can download it free from its own Linux website. You can run Linux alongside Microsoft Windows on the same machine like dual boot. Linux is very easy to modify or customize. There are countless Linux security distros available that can double as Linux hacking software. To hack effectively, you must know and understand your operating system and to large extent. The other reason to learn a Linux is that the most hacking tools are available in only Linux machine and hacking tools are written in Linux like John the Reaper, the password cracking tool, Nmap, Wireshark and it is the most versatile platform to perform hacking operation. There are different tons of Linux flavor for hacking like Fedora, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Kali Linux and Parrot OS. The second thing is to you can learn scripting language. If your, ulti if your ultimate goal is to become a hacker, you need to master at least one programming scripting language. I would recommend you to learn Python. Without scripting uh, skills, the hacker will be relegated to using other hacker tools. This limits your effectiveness. To develop your own unique tool you will need to become a proficient at least in one of the scripting language including the bash shell these should include one of perl python or ruby 
the next is learn networking network run the internet and connect home or offices computer together it is important to know as much as you can on how network operate and how it communicate with other networks you you'll need to understand the basic of networking such as uh, the seven layer of osi model subnetting OSI model is a conceptual framework used to describe the functions of a networking system. It provides the basis for understanding how technology is like Ethernet work. It explains how a PC can communicate using any of several different sets of protocols. You can learn this. First, you have to learn OSI model. And, the, and then router and switches, net, IP version 4, version 6, and MAC addressing. As we are often exploiting these technologies, the better you understand how they work, the more successful you will be. The next is to learn OS top 10 vulnerability. It's a must needed thing. The Open Web Application Security Project OVASP is a non-profit organization dedicated to provide practical information about application security. The OVASP Top 10 Web Application Security Risk was updated in 2017 to provide guidance to developers and security professionals on the most critical vulnerability that are commonly found in web application which are also easy to exploit here are the here is the web top 10 most in application vulnerabilities first is sql injection broken authentication sensitive data exposure xml external entities or double xc broken access control security misconfiguration cross-site scripting, cross-site uh, request forgery like CSRF and insecure deserialization using component with known vulnerabilities and the last is insufficient logging and monitoring and th these uh, these uh, 10 uh, application risks are dangerous because they may allow attacker to plant malware, steal data or completely take over your computer or web server. The next is re learn social engineering. Today social engineering is recognized as one of the greatest security threat facing organization. The success of social engineering technique depends on attackers' ability to manipulate victims into performing certain action or providing confidential information. The attacks used in social engineering can be used to steal employees' confidential information. The most common type of social engineering happens over the phone. Gradually, the hackers gain the trust of the target and then uses that, that trust to get access to sensitive information like password or bank account details. As social engineering attacks continue to grow in sophistication and frequencies, companies should look to employ the education as first line of defense. And uh, last but not the least learn cryptography cryptography is a science that applies complex mathematics and logic to design strong encryption methods the more you understand the strength and weakness of each cryptographic algorithm the better the chances of defeating it cryptography allows people to keep confidence in the electronic world People can do their business on electric channel without worrying of deceit and deception. 
Cryptography provides information security for defending against external and internal hackers. Cryptography can be used by the hacker to hide their activities and evade detection. So these are the skills you should and you must learn these skills before entering in the cybersecurity field. So if you learn anything new and in this video please thumbs up and also share with your friends so that they it will help them to uh, learn these skills also let me know your thoughts in the comment below i'll meet you in the next video goodbye